video is about a photo shoot. But more than that, I'm going to talk about how I should pay a little bit more attention to the Thai people around me. I don't know, call it a Western ego. Sometimes I, I think I know better about stuff that I know about and I'm quick to dismiss you know, the Thai suggestions because, you know, I just think, wow, you know, I, I have better information. That's not always true. And it's, uh, it, you know, I'm living here in Thailand. I should take the time out to pay attention to those folks around me that kind of have my best interest in mind. And beyond that, it's a kind of a fun story about the subjects of the photo shoot as well. I need a new backdrop for the photo shoot that I want to do. And the place that I would go to buy it is Fortune Town, which is a Western-style mall of tech stuff. But it's expensive. Now, Bull Cow, my favorite model, actually was the model for my very first studio photo shoot, her and her sister. Um, and so she knows what, what I'm doing. And she was like, no, you don't have to go there. Come with me. To, where are we going? Rock and on. Right. Uh, Bull Cow tells me that uh, we can get a much more inexpensive way of doing things. And my first thought was, no, nah, I need those special roll-down things that, that that you buy for photographic photo shoots. And yeah, they are expensive. And I thought, you know what? Pay attention to the lady. She knows what she's doing. Cow does not shop retail. She comes to the Brockett on market. So here's the proposition is to take this Muslim like material and sew two together. It'd be far less expensive than uh, purchasing the vinyl ones that I had in mind. I think it might be a good idea. How do I? This is hook sip for, for this. Hook sip, that's 60 baht. That's like $2 for this. So I need four of them. Of course, it's 1,526 baht, and that comes out to about 46 US dollars. The three pretty good backdrops would have cost me well over a hundred at Fortune Town. Well done, Ms. Vogel. <laughs> Not too long ago, I started shooting studio photography. <music> Thailand is loaded with models. So I thought, let me start taking photographs of uh, uh, of young people in, in a studio and see if it attracts attention. Now, I can't hire professional models, nor do I wish to. I like shooting everyday people. And guess what? The plan is working. There are people now approaching me. Hey, can you shoot my pictures? And one of them was a young woman, 21 years old, named Cake. Like birthday cake. Ties love their nicknames. I don't know what her formal name is. Nobody uses their full names. The name's Cake. So Cake is a, a, a pretty young 21-year-old who has a, a, you know, a growing Instagram channel. She uh, puts herself out there, and she's a pretty good model, and she's kind of cute. And I thought, yeah, that'd be a great subject to photograph. And there was a problem. Buakau, my girlfriend's 20-year-old son, who you don't see too much in my videos. He's, you know, but you're going to see him today. Uh, well, at any rate... Cake is his girlfriend. Now, his name is uh, Peking. Uh, P is a title. It's not Peking like the duck or the city. P King. His nickname is King. His real name is Natanan. Like I said, they don't use their real names. So Peking and Cake are dating. And I'm thinking, oh man, that could cause issues. Uh, people are a little bit touchy about, you know, the, the kind of photographs that I've been doing of young women. I don't understand it. You know, it's done all over the world, and I just like them as subjects. It's kind of fun to do, but uh, there's nothing strange going on. It's just photographs. God knows there's zillions of photographs all over the world these days. 
And, um, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm conscious of the kind of energy people put into, you know, pictures, especially if they're a little bit on the sexy side and if cake, cake has been doing anything, she's been doing sexy pictures. So I was a little bit reticent to be shooting pictures of my girlfriend's son's girlfriend. Then I got an idea. P. King is a good looking lad. He really is. And I thought, let me do a photo shoot with both of them. And he said, yes. So that's what we're up to today. Um, we're going to do a photo shoot, but I'm going to do it downstairs. So I have to move my stuff downstairs. I'm going to get the horde of Thai people living here in my house to help me with that. I need, I need everybody. Kun, Nompe, Kelly, Pinky, Ying, Minnie, Gab. Everybody, come. Come, come, come. mob of freeloaders here. May as well put them to work. Thank you ladies. Cop and cop. All right, so this is uh, something that I'm not used to doing, but it's kind of fun picking out the outfits. <laughs> All right, for the motorcycle shots, this one, teeny. Yeah. Horde of Thai elves had the temerity to run off and leave me to bring all this stuff back upstairs myself. Can you imagine that? Them having a life of their own. But uh, yeah, um, so let me show you this. So the yellowish tan background was the one in the photo shoot uh, that we purchased at the beginning of this video. And we also got a black one and a white one. So yeah, those, uh, that's how we all started out here. But Miss Buakau has been my trusty helper here. She's, uh, she has without a doubt become a photographic assistant par excellence. Thank you. And uh, Miss Cake here is like an excellent model. Anybody looking for a model, uh, you know, get in on her before, uh, before she raises her prices. And Peking, you're not James Dean, but you did a good job. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's my photo shoot. I'll put a bunch of good photos at the end here to music and you can take a look at them if you want. Thanks for watching. Mm.